what on earth are scattered around? No one bothered to do the repairs. Oh. These are going to get harder and harder each time. Except for the one after this, I believe. Now let's see if I can remember the order for this one. Well, that only goes up or across. See if we can figure this out on the first attempt. Perfect. Hey, yes, yeah, so if it couldn't get any worse. How about a long winding corridor with nothing but candles? And my for you. Bro Shadow. Walking into the worst place you could possibly go. Small piece of paper. He left a note behind like an idiot. No wonder they found him. The mansion has started to change. As far as I can figure out, the ghosts are trying to follow me back into the past. The spirits are using their power to make parts of the mansion revert to the way they were in the past. The ghosts of that era are beginning to stir. You're right. Just what exactly happened in this mansion? Anyway, uh, just what to do about the ghosts? What, what do they want me to do? The shipping. Back to the courtyard we go. For another carving. I believe there's probably a couple enemies you can actually get attacked in this particular corridor, but it's usually the floating head that attacks you. Unless you do mission mode. Ooh, that was a... <laughs> that transition to dead silence is just spooky. Nothing spookier than dead silence. As long as there is sound, it's less scary. But in mission mode, sometimes there'll be like another ghost that spawns in that corridor. Wait, am I coming up to the part I think I am? No, that's not yet, I don't think. Oh, hey, an item. Type 37. We we're gonna need that for later. Oh no, is it? Uh oh. No, no, no. Don't touch that. Change. She attacked you there. Never mind, I guess I was mistaken. Well, we can spare a couple type 37, not a big deal. We already have like 93 of them, so might as well make use of it. This is Snow Mirror, Sacred Water. Strange character, the reverse side of the plug. Head back. Maybe we got attacked on the way back. I've only gone through this game twice, I don't remember everything. Sometimes events happen that didn't happen to you. And the game just decides to change the rules. Which makes sense. I kind of wish I didn't have to waste a 37 shot for that, but oh well. We'll get more Type 37 film, so I'm not... No. That wasn't an enemy spawn. I don't know how to get that one. We can spare 37s. We get more.
hanging woman usually spawns in this room sometimes. Guess she got bored. Not gonna worry about saving too much since we technically have the power of the PCSX2 auto saves. Or manual auto, I guess I should call it. Just with a single tab of the button, I can just save the game. Alright. Solve the... Oh no, it's... And now this one's seven. Alright, well, this is the one that usually complicates me more. I think I already messed it up, actually. Uh, yeah, I did. Alright, well, first objective, get this one here. That one needs to go up there, so yeah, that'll go there. That one needs to go there. Meaning, this should go there, that should go there, that should go there, and then here. Is that a door? No, I thought it was. That honestly would have shocked me because I, I would have been really upset at myself for not seeing that for two playthroughs. Considering how often you might check the map in a game like this. Oh, sorry, here's a, here's a little tip. Uh, do not... If you are in a fight with a single ghost, do not ever climb on these ladders. Because it is extremely slow. And they can hit you on them. That's something I learned on the second time I played. It'll happen to you too. Very, very slowly, you will eventually get to the bottom. There's some very old school bajus. And a bunch of weird spike pillars. I found some old research documents. The ritual mass. In the Himera rituals, masks play a very important role. One of them is called the blinding mask, which is used in the demon tag ritual. Two stakes pierce through the eyes of the blinding mask. It's used in the demon tag ritual as a blindfold. Legend goes, while the demon is blindfolded, enter the rope altar and perform the ritual. This might mean that the blinding mask is the key to the rope altar. I put the book describing their family life. The huge door is in the way. Maybe something could unlock it. Mirror. I don't want to waste more 37 on this kind of stuff. I'm just wasting good material. Mass mistake and it appears on the pillar. Perfect. Now I gotta go find the mask. Well, there's already one. Oh, yep, here we go. Again. Spot. 
Ah, crap. Worked out. That's fine. All the red candles are lit. There's a tiny mask box where the ghost was. It's old, but they're usable. Alright, let's get out of here. We gotta climb the extremely slow ladder again. Can't really judge games so at it at the time. I mean, the game's more than 20 years old. Animating ladder climbs and other stuff is still kind of a brand new concept. Then again, Tomb Raider was a thing. Alright. Continue on. Thankfully, the room is not that far. If I remember correctly, too, the mirror is used in this one, and I think in the third one. I've only played through the third one once, so... But I do remember a mirror being a part of it. He was like something about like the, you unleash or open the doors, and it lets nightmares flow, and you need like a mirror to seal it or purify it or something, something like that. Well, we'll, we'll get to play it again eventually, because I have forgotten half of it. Let's save our game.